Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's tip, we're going to take a look at how to solve the problem that a lot of people have when they import MP4 or MOV files into Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, typically what happens is you record your video and you'll import it into Sony Movie Studio and the screen will either not have audio or it won't have video. And the reason is the QuickTime Code, which is required to edit MP4 and MOV files, isn't always compatible with all formats and all flavors of MOV and MP4 files. So there are a number of solutions. One is to uninstall QuickTime and try to find a version that's compatible with what you have. But a better solution is to convert the QuickTime file into AVI. The problem with that is that even though there are some file converters, most of them don't really convert files. What they do is they just put the QuickTime file inside of an envelope and put an AVI extension. So it's still the QuickTime file and you still have the same problem. But there is a program that will convert it and it's Cineform Neocene. And Neocene does a great job except for it's a kind of expensive program. In this video I'm going to show you how to get a converter from Cineform at no cost that will do the job for you. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the GoPro 3D Center and click the Cineform Studio link and you can download a free copy, and this is totally free copy, of Cineform Studio. And all you have to do is enter the platform, whether you're running a Mac or a PC, your first name, last name, email address, and click Submit, and you'll get the Download button. Once you get the Download button, you'll want to install the GoPro Cineform Studio, which looks like this. And once you have it installed, you can import MOV and MP4 files, whether they're from a GoPro camera or a Kodak Zi8 camera, or just about any device that creates MOV MP4 files. So let's import one. And what I've got here is a folder of videos I've shot with my Kodak Zi8. And I'm going to import this one right here. All I'll do is select it and click Open. And it's imported now on GoPro. It shows the imported files, and you can import lots of files. It shows here what the video looks like, and you can click to play it. You have advanced settings where you can change some of the settings, but generally you want to leave everything to the source settings. So the frame size is set to source, frame rate is set to source and then set your file format to AVI and quality to set it to either medium or high depending on where you're going to use it and then click OK. And then you want to click the link that says add clip to conversion list and it puts it over here and you notice it's going to convert it to an AVI file. And down here it tells you that it's going to save to in whatever folder you have and on mine it's going to save to my videos folder. And once I have all the clips over here that I want to convert all I have to do is click convert all and the conversion process starts. Now that a conversion is done, I can go down and look in this folder, and I'll open up Sony Movie Studio, and we'll take a look at it. This is my Sony Movie Studio. I'm going to import that file, Project, Import Media. I'll open it. We'll bring it up on the timeline, and there it is. And you see that it did a really good job of conversion. Now you can find this software for free at the GoPro website. When you get to GoPro, just click the Cineform Studio link, and then do the software download or follow the link that you see on the screen right there. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. If you like this video tip, you can find a lot more like this at my website, which is www.bmyers.com, or you can find a lot more on my DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks for Sunny Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as my website.